What is up guys, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Force One F100 Brushless Drone. The drone is a quadcopter. It has four brushless motors and a 12 to 15 minute flight time. When unboxing the drone, you will see the drone itself, a remote controller, one LiPo battery, the charger, a camera mount, four landing legs, four propellers, four small guards, a small screwdriver and a wrench. When I was unboxing the drone, I also received four extra backup propellers. The drone does not include an action camera, but is GoPro ready, which means that you can put your own GoPro or GoPro sized action camera into the frame that is included with the drone. I would definitely recommend getting an action camera to put on this drone because some of the footage you can get is amazing because of the bird's eye view. Overall, the flight of the drone was extremely easy. In the box the drone comes with, you will find an instruction manual. The manual points out and shows what all the buttons and switches do on the control. Pushing the left throttle on the drone forward will raise the drone and pushing it down will lower the drone. Pressing the throttle to the left or the right will turn the drone counterclockwise or clockwise. As for the right throttle, pushing it forward and backward will push the drone forward and backward. And putting the drone side to the side will move the drone left and right. There are also trim adjustments in case the drone drifts. And there's even a button to flip or roll the drone. To do this, you will push the first button in the top right corner of the controller while holding down the direction you want the drone to flip or roll. This is a very nice feature to have because it looks very professional and super easy to do. The battery that the drone comes with is 1800 milliamps. This allows the drone's flight time to range from 12 to 15 minutes. The drone battery takes around two to four hours to charge. I never had any problems with the battery or the charging and was very pleased with the flight time. The only problem I had with the drone was connecting the controller to the drone and getting the drone propellers to start spinning. To connect the controller to the drone, you need to be holding the top left red button. While you're holding it, you need to press up on the on button of the controller. A green light will start flashing and then you need to plug in the battery to the drone. Then the drone will power up and eventually they will connect within a few seconds. And then to get the drone propellers to start spinning, you need to press that top left red button one more time and they'll start spinning. After pressing the red button, the drone will not leave the ground, but the propellers will stay spinning. To then turn the propellers off, you need to hold the red button for 3 seconds. This is one thing I found kind of confusing, but overall I was very pleased with my experience. I really enjoyed this drone, and would give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's a nice, cheaper alternative to GGI Phantoms. This is an honest review, and besides connecting the drone to the controller, and getting the blades to start spinning, I honestly had no other complaints. I think the instruction manual is put together very well, and the build quality of the drone was fantastic. If you guys are interested in checking out this drone, make sure you click the first link in the description. Now I'm going to be showing you guys some sample footage I took using the drone with the GoPro Hero 3 White Edition. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.